Hi, my name is Kathy Fosno and this is Cat's Creative Corner. Welcome to Tuesday's card. Today I'm going to make a graduation card. 2016, can you believe that there's kids already graduating from 2016? I graduated in 1968 and the colors I'm using for this card are the colors here at Carson High School in Carson City, Nevada. They're blue and white and What's really fun is that when I was in high school, I graduated in California at Irvington High School and my colors were blue and white. So almost every kid I've known for the last almost 40 years has been graduated from Carson City High School. So I'm going to make blue and white and you can make the colors that you choose for your school colors. So this is a really simple card. We're going to start with a base of five and a half by eleven cut, and then scored at four and a quarter. This is just Whisper White cardstock, and we're going to be using the number of years, which I stamped in Pacific Point, which is blue, and then I cut out the numbers with the large number framelits. And then I'm going to use the balloon celebration for the congratulations. Where to go? Right here. Congratulations. Okay. And then for the hat, it's just a one inch square using the Framelits Square Collection. Now this collection is going away. This collection has been retired and it will not be available after May 31st. However, we will be getting a new square framelit set and it's going to have scallops and everything. So it's really kind of fun and exciting to get, get those new num uh, new frames. Okay, so I went ahead and used my, my Big Shot to cut out my square and my numbers. So it's just a simple matter of stamping the congratulations Gotta find the right one. Here it is. And I'm gonna use a block. And my Pacific Point. And I'm gonna take the banner that I cut out from the numbers collection. Put it right in the center. And like I said, I already stamped the numbers and then cut them out with the big shots, so they're all ready to go. One thing, let me get my uh, dimensionals. Hang on there. Here they are. Just forgot one thing. Not too bad today. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to make the tassel. I made a little tassel. I've already got it made, but I'm just going to give you an idea of how to make it. I took some um, white baker's twine, and I think this baker's twine came from a paper pumpkin kit. I'm not positive. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it around a few times, and then I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just using a bone um, folder just so that I can uh, have something a good width for this size of a tassel. So I have those on, and I'm gonna pull it off and then I'm going to take another strand and I'm going to wrap it around and tie it off which will give me a little knot to hold it together and then I'm going to take and I'm going to cut right through the loops so that they're all individual and it makes as you can see, you can see the little knot I tied, the little strand I tied around it. So that makes my little tassel. So now we just need to put it together. So we're going to, ah, I did forget one more thing. Forgot my adhesive. So I'm using my snail adhesive. And we're gonna start at the top of the card. 
and I just did it in a few places. I'm going to start at the top of the card. And it's best to go ahead and put the last number down so that you can distribute the other two um, numbers evenly. Just a little ways down. And if you don't press real hard and you feel like you need to adjust it, you can a little bit. But once you press really hard, that's, that's it. You're done. Okay, so I'm just going to take my little square and I'm going to tilt it so it looks more like a graduation cap. And then I'm, whoops, did it on the wrong end. See, you don't want to do it too, you don't want to press too soon because then I have an adhesive remover but not with me, so, okay. So there's that. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little adhesive on my tassel, put it in the middle, and there, I have my tassel. Now all I need is, are my dimensionals, and I'm going to put three on it. I always like to make sure they hold up and stand up, especially if you have to mail it. So I'm putting one in the middle. And then I'm going to put congratulations at the bottom. And my card is done. I hope you like this card. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. And I'd like it if you'd subscribe to my channel. You can also go to my website, Cat's Creative Corner, for more videos to make cards and with lots of tips. Thanks for coming by.